Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you from beautiful Victoria here on the west coast of Canada. I hope everybody is having an awesome weekend so far. Students in this class we are looking at speaking part two of the IELTS. It's the same for the academic and the general version of the IELTS. We're looking for that perfect band nine score. And the topic of this cue card, as you'll soon discover, is an item that you take with you when you leave your home. Students, this lesson is presented to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS. Check us out there. For the general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. On both of those websites, we've got tons of materials to help you improve your communication for the IELTS exam, as well as your vocabulary and grammar. This is a members chat class, everyone, but of course, you're all welcome to watch. We will have an all chat class where everybody can join the chat and participate in the chat coming up in about 90 minutes. That class will be speaking part three. So that speaking part three is connected to speaking part two, so it's a really good idea to watch through with this class. Welcome Abdul Aziz, hi Anshu, hi Samit, welcome Tatiana, welcome Roshan. Good to see many people joining in on the class. Again, uh, this class is brought to you by aehelp.com. Our website looks like this. It powers our lessons with materials and interactive uh, abilities for speaking. This is the big red button that you should be clicking to join our premium IELTS package. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access, so it's well worth it. And we still have this uh, a great discount code from our most recent video release uh, called uh, Perfect Nine, because of course everybody wants that Perfect Nine band on the IELTS. And students, you can get a Perfect Nine on the IELTS even if you're not a native English speaker. Um, that's just a myth that it's not possible to get that band nine. It's not, doesn't happen often, but it's not impossible, okay? So uh, keep that in mind. And for the general IELTS, uh, it's gieltshelp.com. Click that big red button there to join the premium IELTS package. As you can see, we are an official uh, IELTS test registration center and certified IELTS agents. We help thousands of students each month to succeed in their IELTS goals. So you are in great hands with us. Um, students, uh, for apps, uh, just get our app, Academic IELTS Help from your app store or general IELTS help from your app store. Those apps will link to the websites so you can learn from the website on your PC or from the app on your phone and they are connected. Um, and uh, Instagram is IELTS underscore AE help and GIELTS help. We kind of upload some funny vocabulary and idiom videos there as well as uh, track our live IELTS classes and new releases. Um, and if you have questions about IELTS, English, immigration, um, going to school abroad, you can always send us an email, adrian at aehelp.com. Now, a uh, very interesting uh, announcement, and I will be reminding you of this over the next few classes as well, everyone. Uh, we have some changes coming up uh, to our live classes. So. Um, from uh, this week forward, um, there will be no classes, no live classes on Wednesdays. But uh, worry not, we are actually going to be doing longer classes on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So right now we're doing 60 minute classes, but starting from next week, we are going to be doing 90 minute classes on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. And there's a reason for that. That will give us a more of a chance to complete materials for speaking and writing. And also it will give a chance to our viewers to ask 
more questions um, at the end of the class. So we decided that it's better to do a 90 minute class than a 60 minute class. So no classes on Wednesdays, but longer classes on uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. And we will be releasing more HD video content on our YouTube channels. That means that you will see more uh, videos that are recorded for general IELTS writing task one, academic IELTS writing task one, because we will be doing video shoots on Wednesdays. So those are some big changes uh, that are coming uh, going forward, but they're exciting changes, they're good changes. So uh, take note of that, okay? And again, I will be reminding you of that going forward. So here is our schedule. We have uh, speaking part two right now. Okay, and then we'll have speaking part three in about 90 minutes. And then April 3rd, which is Sunday, to April 6th, which is Wednesday, there's no class, as I just mentioned, no class on Wednesday. And then Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, you'll notice that we have speaking, we have a writing task two, and you notice these 90 minute blocks. So they're a little bit longer classes. Hopefully we can finish this task two in one class. That will be an exciting experiment as well, okay? So more intense learning um, and more materials for you at the end of the day, more effective learning. So that's our goal with this. Samrit says, wow, more learning. Absolutely. So Cassandra, Rashika, members, um, thumbs up, yeah? 90 minute classes, no classes Wednesdays, more HD materials. So concentrating more of the lessons on the weekends as well. Uh, of course, Thursday for me here in Canada, in Victoria, is going to be Friday for a lot of uh, people or getting close to Friday anyway, okay? All right, Maria says, that's great. Uh, Muhammad Dayub says, a thumbs up. Okay, uh, students, so yeah, keep those changes in mind. Make notes of that. I'm sure it will have a bit of an effect on some of your schedules. And again, this is a members chat class, so um, if you are a subscriber, that's great. Make sure to keep watching, all right? Um, I've just switched it to members chat only, but uh, worry not, again, we will have an all chat class coming up in 90 minutes. Okay, everyone, so let's get into today's cue card, I'll speaking part to the cue card, um, most of you know what this is about. Uh, you basically get shown a card like this that you see above me here uh, with some questions. You have one minute to read this card and then you have one to two minutes to speak to answer all the questions on the card and to give a clear, unique, and detailed response to the questions. So step number one when you get this card is to stay calm and be confident and stick to strategy, okay? Um, you probably thought I was going to say read the topic sentence twice, but um, even before that, step one, uh, as soon as uh, you get the card, uh, stay calm, and focus on strategy. Okay, that's what you have to do. All right, step two is read the questions twice. Why do I say that? So, can uh, some members remind all of our viewers uh, why I say that you have to read the questions twice? There's actually two very important reasons for that that I can think of. Um, so, uh, why is that? Okay, Udit, by the way, congrats on your uh, band score. I do see that, Udit Raj, they're very nice. I see your last comment there, that's great. Okay, so why, why read the uh, question on the cue card twice? We can do that right now, and maybe that will give you an idea of why we're doing it. So here we go. Um, Talk about an item you often have with you when you leave home, okay? Again, talk about an item you often have with you when you leave home, okay? 
So twice, especially that topic sentence. Uh, what is it? Uh, when and where uh, did you get it? What do you use it for? Why do you take it with you and how do you feel when you leave it at home? Okay, so what is it? When and where did you get it? What do you use it for? Why do you take it with you and how do you feel when you leave it at home? All right. So, um, good. Those are the questions. Tatiana says, to understand the task clearly. Absolutely. Maria says, in order to pay attention to the details and stay focused on the subject. Yes, Maria. Rashika says, to identify the category, the tense, and understand the question. Cass says, also, to understand the main topic in the cue card and in order for you not to go off topic. Yeah, those are all really good um, responses. Yeah, so step two, read the question twice. Absolutely, one reason for that is to make sure that you are 100% clear on the topic of the question, okay? Uh, because still, students, one of the most common mistakes, I might even say the most common big mistake in IELTS speaking part two is students not talking clearly about the questions on the cue card, okay? So like for instance, in this case, a lot of students might start talking about what people take with them when they leave home. They'll be like, many people take their mobile homes with them when they leave home. No, 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 no. It's what do you have with you, okay? With you uh, when you leave home, all right? Um, so you really have to be specific and you have to make sure that you answer all the questions, okay? That's the other big reason you read them twice because hopefully that reminds you to answer all the questions on the card. If you miss questions on the card, you are losing score, okay? So um, make sure that you're clear. And uh, in order to answer all of the questions on the card. Okay, so uh, step three is you identify the category. Now in this case, we're talking about an object, okay? And uh, it's an object that you take with you, right? Okay, so um, when you talk about an object, uh, what should you tell your listeners so that they have a clear idea of your uh, response? So again, and there is an order to this, okay? So there is an order to this. Uh, first, when you talk about an object, you should do what? Okay. Second, when you talk about an object, you should do what? Three, uh, when you talk about an object, uh, you should do what? Fourth, um, there's one more piece that you need to include. Um, and I believe there's a fifth, yeah, uh, as well. Okay, Tatiana says it's appearance. Yeah, we can say appearance or description, right? So basically thinking about what it is, okay? Um, and then Tatiana says uh, it's origin. Yeah, where does it come from, right? Absolutely. Um, and then, um, yeah, so function um, is the next one here. Tatiana, don't forget about the function. Uh, when you think about the function, think about the way you use it, okay? All right, the way you use it. And then you can think about the application, so when you use it or how you use it, okay? And it's importance. So why is it important to you? Okay, you can break it down in these components. So description, describe the object. What does it look like, right? Um, its origin, where does it come from? How much did it cost? Okay, how long have you had it, right? Its function, what do you do with it? So how does it work? 
okay um just think about kind of the listener as like a monkey right like what do i do with it and button smash button smash right um and then it's fourth is its application what does it do for the individual right and its importance why um, is it important okay so you can really kind of get granular and break it down all right Okay, and if you talk about an object in this order, you're basically going to be doing a great job for that cue card. And if we look at the cue card and you look at these questions like, what is it? That's basically the description, right? Uh, when and where did you get it? That's basically the origin, right? What do you use it for is basically its importance. Why do you take it with you? How do you feel, right? And that's also the importance of it for you. Okay, so when you answer these uh, points about an object, you're basically covering most of the questions, if not all of the questions on the cue card. Okay, so step four is to think of a few good ideas, okay? So think of um, two, or sorry, one to three, let's say, uh, no, sorry, think of two to three, <laughs> two to three good ideas. For an answer uh, don't just think of one okay I still see so many times candidates doing this they just think of one idea and then they go with it and they're like woo and then like a minute later they realize that wasn't a really good idea um, so don't just think of one idea and go with it All right, um, so we think of a few good ideas. And here, a lot of you might be thinking, oh, mobile phone. Um, it's not a good idea. Why? So think about an item that you often take with you. I bet you so many candidates uh, would be like, oh, it's my phone. And then they start talking about their phone. Um, why why would I say that this is not a good idea okay so what do you think co -fum, welcome back to our group of members so why do you think this is not a good idea and I, and I want you to tell me this because I really you know I really want to encourage you to think of good ideas when you're answering uh, cue cards okay Um, so Ken Russell says because it's very common. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Yeah, it's not unique. And so it's very common. So like if they had this question on the cue card and mobile phones, I, I just generally advise um, candidates to stay away from it because it would be a very popular choice among candidates and when you choose the same kind of answer as all the other candidates okay it's virtually impossible for the examiner to not compare responses okay so it becomes impossible uh, for the examiner to uh, not compare candidates to each other. And this makes it very difficult to score a high uh, band score. Okay? Because if you have someone going to the exam with excellent English just before you talking about their mobile phone, and they get a band aid, and you go in there, and you're you're talking, you know, you're speaking with pretty good English. You might have otherwise gotten a band aid, but that examiner is not going to feel comfortable giving you that band aid if they just gave someone a band aid who was clearly a bit better than you. So it's very difficult in this case for the examiner to stay truly objective right but if you talk about a different item then even if your english let's say is not quite as good as the person who just came into the exam before you um then you know it you're still ha you still have a good chance for a great score right so 
uh, it's going to be much more difficult for the examiner to stay objective with their marking when they are receiving the same topic each time. So, and you know, you might be thinking, well, what if the pre previous person was a lot worse than me and they got a band eight? It's probably not going to happen because examiners tend to mark on the harder side than on the easier side, okay? So that's, um, that's why you want to stay away from it, okay? All right, um, so give me some ideas then. So what are some items that we take with us uh, to uh, when we leave our home regularly um, that we could talk about for one to two minutes, okay? So let's, so what are our ideas here? Okay, give me some ideas and not the mobile phone, right? Okay. Amrit says the examiner might even feel bored if they hear you talking about the mobile phone for the 10th time or the 10th person or the 20th person. Yeah, absolutely. They'll start losing interest, right? It, it, it starts to influence them. Amrit says smartwatch. Amrit, smartwatch is kind of like a mobile phone. It's just a mobile phone on your wrist. Okay, um, so it's basically a small computer, right? Just like your mobile phone. So I probably wouldn't do that. Uh, Maria says keys. Okay, keys could be something that are quite interesting. Ken says wallet. Um, Ken, I think wallet is okay. It's not going to be as common as the mobile phone. Okay, Rashika, very good. Rashika says debit card. All right, Rashika, I like it. Debit card, I think, is a really clever one. Okay. All right, um, very nice. Cass says, how about my eco bag? I think that's really clever as well, Cass. Okay, and a water bottle. I believe that's the one we did our video on, uh, taking a water bottle with you. Yeah, Tatiana says a flask uh, to take uh, some tea or coffee. Yeah, uh, we would say thermos. A flask is usually for alcohol, Tatiana, like the small drinking flask. Um, for um, tea or coffee, uh, we usually use the, the product, the company name, Thermos, okay? Uh, Maria says backpack, okay. Uh, yeah, very good. And I think you can hyphenate that, uh, Maria, your backpack, yeah, absolutely, okay? Uh, Amrit says hand sanitizer. Yeah, and I think that's probably become a very popular item um, during COVID, right? As a hand sanitizer. Um, Cass, the same thing, hand sanitizer. Yeah, I don't know about masks here in Canada just recently. Now for all the provinces, we don't wear masks anymore. Uh, but um, I think hand sanitizers have become popular. People have realized that it's a good idea to have hand sanitizer with you. Uh, Tatiana, very nice, wireless headphones. Yeah, like AirPods, right? See, so there's so many great ideas aside from um, a mobile phone that you could really talk a lot about uh, for this. And I, th and I see some great ideas. I think several of these are lovely, really wonderful ideas to answer this question, okay? All right, um, so uh, let's um, talk about, well, you know what? Um, let's, let's vote on these, right? So I'm going to just kind of pick a few, so we're not gonna vote on all of them. I'm just gonna give you an option of five one of these five I'm taking some of them out so we've got wallet we've got eco bag we've got a thermos and a hand sanitizer why not and wireless headphones I strongly believe <clears throat> believe that all of those are great ideas and we can easily talk one to two minutes on those topics so uh, let's take a vote. One wallet, two eco bag, three thermos, four hand sanitizer, or five wireless headphones. Um, cast your vote. 
So just the number, all you need to do is write one, two, three, four, five. I'll take a look at which one is the most popular among our members and then we'll go with that one today. Amrit says one. <clears throat> Cass, just the number. Thermos would be number three. Maria, five. Okay, so we've got, and see, that's how you know it's a pretty good, um, pretty good list because we have a pretty good split here of uh, people choosing. So, Ken, you're confusing me. Wallet would be number one, not number five. Okay. All right. Cast your votes. I think so far it's Wallet because it's the only one that's got two votes. Okay. Rashika and Ken. Okay, Wallet seems to be a popular one, so let's go with Wallet then. All right. Wallet it is. Okay, so notes. Uh, wallet. This is our next step is useful notes. Okay. Now, uh, when you think about your notes, okay, step five. Think about notes um, that, uh, that you wouldn't naturally think of anyway. So don't write down wallet because you obviously know that you've already picked wallet, right? And your notes should follow the order of uh, the object um, discussion, right? So uh, you're talking about description, origin, function. So uh, first you're describing the wallet. So give me... Um, Give me some uh, words that would describe this wallet that you take with you, okay? So maybe I would say something like leather, white, well, black, probably more common color, okay? So those are ones, those are ideas that clearly come to mind. It's leather, it's black. What else? I think I have a couple other ones right away. And Maria, keep it simple. So keep your notes simple. Don't um okay bifold yeah okay so it's one of those folding wallets sure um rectangular good vocabulary you're picking up lexical resource marks rashika okay uh tatiana says compact all right spacious Compact and spacious, well, I don't know. Maybe let's take that out. <laughs> okay. Um, has a zipper, sure. Okay, that's plenty enough for what it looks like, all right? Uh, you might say the brand, so maybe it's like a really nice brand. Maybe it's a Gucci. You can just kind of make it up, right? Okay, uh, good, it's origin. Where'd you get it? And here you can get kind of clever. Again, you don't need to tell the truth uh, in IELTS. So this is the appearance, right? And then here we have the origin, okay? And when you're writing your notes, so when you get that one minute, then you can actually write like A, O, right? F for function, right? I for importance. And then you know that you should have some notes for each of those, okay? So it's origin. Uh, Tatiana says internet. So you, you maybe did a bit of searching online. Okay, um, sure. All right, let's go Amazon uh, reviews. You probably looked at some reviews. Um, okay. Uh, Cass says, why not say from a Gucci store? Um, maybe when you're on a trip to Dubai or when you visited Italy or something like that. Yeah, that could be a good idea, Cass, because then it's got sentimental value, right? So instead of Amazon and reviews, you might say you got it from Italy, from Florence, okay, from, on a trip, okay? Maybe it costs you 200 euros. Okay, all right, uh, and it's sentimental. That will come later, but you're already getting the idea that because it reminds you of your trip, right? So it kind of fills you with positive um, thoughts when you pull it out of your pocket and you use it, okay? All right, um, so what is the function? 
So how do you use it, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which kind of sounds funny. It's like, well, how do you use a wallet, right? Okay, but um, it still makes sense, okay? So how do you use it? How do you use uh, the wallet? Okay, think about the function. Okay. So uh, store cards in compartments. Maybe it has a money clip. Okay. Zip it for safety, right? Okay, very good. Absolutely. You unzip it, you zip it up. Okay. Yeah, the function, of course, Tatiana, right? You use it whenever you pay, okay? So purchase payment situations, right? Don't forget about that. Sometimes people forget about uh, the most obvious, okay? All right, very good. Okay, nice, yeah, so uh, Cass says with RFID, ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, but the other important thing there, uh, Cassandra, that you're reminding people of is to show ID. Okay, so you have your ID in your wallet, maybe you have one of those transparent um, slip uh, cases that you can show your ID very quickly uh, when you need to. I've seen that in a lot of wallets as well. Yeah, Ken says where your driver's license for your ID. Okay, so show ID. Very good, all right? Okay, um, so it's importance to you. Okay, um, why is it important? Okay. It's important, obviously, to be able to function in society. Uh, we use our wallet just about every single time we go out into the big wide world, right? Um, Ken says, yeah, vaccination card. Quite possible. These days, a lot of people use their wallets for vaccine cards as well. I don't know about everybody else, but that vaccine card mandate for us here in British Columbia ends in six days. So April 8th here in Victoria, we don't have to show vaccine cards anymore which will be a nice change. Okay, so to function well in society and then a uh, reminder of trip. Um, and it, you know, maybe it gives you a bit of status, right? If you have a nice Gucci wallet, it makes you feel like you've got status in society when you pull it out. People are like, hey, that's a nice wallet, right? Okay, so we've got lots of great ideas and obviously, you know, you only have one minute, so you have to be really quick with these. And your step six before you uh, begin uh, speaking here is to have your first sentence ready. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to write my first sentence so that when the examiner says, okay, uh, Adrian, your uh, one minute preparation time is up, please begin speaking, then I can start talking right away. Okay, so um, do the same, members. Write your first sentence, okay? All right, so all right, I'm going to keep this one fairly simple and, it, you know, I... I sometimes overcomplicate this first sentence, but in reality, you do want to have a fairly simple first sentence because you don't want to have mistakes in your first sentence. You want it to be clear. You want it to answer the question right away. Okay, that's super duper important. Don't start by saying things like, well, there are a lot of items that I take with me when I leave home. <laughs> I have these huge <laughs> pockets and I fill them like a chipmunk with everything I can find, but an object that I always have in my big pockets. Um, no, don't, don't do it like that, okay? So 
uh, right away into the item that you take with you whenever you leave home, okay? We don't care about all the other items and we don't care about you thanking the examiner for giving you an opportunity to talk about items that you take with you. You've got one to two minutes to prove that you can answer clearly, concisely, with good English and good information. So cut to the chase and directly into the object that you take with you. As Tatiana is saying, an object I always take with me wherever I go is my wallet. Exactly, Tatiana, clear and to the point, right? The world is faster than ever before. The world is more confusing than ever before. People do not like it when um, they get unnecessary information. We have become information filters in our generation, in our lifetime. And whenever we have less information to filter, we feel better for it in just about any context in life. So here we go. An object that I'm sure to have with me whenever I leave my home is my Gucci wallet. This is an elegant black leather uh, wallet, rectangular uh, shaped. It is compact, so it fits into my uh, pockets easily and I do not feel um, any discomfort while walking uh, or uh, sitting. Right, because um, a lot of times wallets just get enormous and they become very awkward. They don't fit into our pockets. Ladies often carry their wallets in their purse, obviously. Uh, men oftentimes carry them in their pockets and they become extremely discomforting when they're huge and they just don't fit. And when you sit down, it feels like your leg's about to get crushed by your wallet. Um, so visualize, right? Be in the situation. I think we all have had experiences with wallets being uh, uncomfortable. Like if you see me sit on an angle like this, you might assume that you know I have a huge wallet in my back pocket and I'm literally on an angle about to fall off uh, my seat, right? So just visualize that and get into it. There's lots of information. Sometimes people think like, well, how do I how do I talk for one to two minutes about a wallet? Are you kidding? I could probably talk to you about a wallet for like five or six minutes without repeating information. Okay. All right. So uh, Cass says the object that I always have with me uh, when I leave home is my Gucci wallet. Yeah, Cass, don't double up on information so that I always have with me all the time. Always have with me all the time. It's double information. Careful with that. Rashika says, an object I usually have with me when I leave home is my wallet. Yeah, good Rashika. Ken says, one of the most important items that I can't leave home without is my wallet. Okay, Ken, that's the end of that sentence. So good job uh, so far, all right? Okay, uh, so it is compact. So it fits into my pocket easily and I do not feel any discomfort while walking and sitting. Um, I got my wallet uh, while on a, a trip to uh, Florence, uh, Italy uh, back in 2017 from an authentic uh, retailer for a whopping uh, 200 uh, euros. I just fell in love with it uh, when I saw it and even though it was a bit expensive, I decided uh, to splurge and buy it as a souvenir. Okay, so again, just nice um, language putting together the information that's uh, in my notes, okay? And if I forget, then I'm looking at my notes, right? Okay. 
So uh, it's function, this lovely uh, bifold uh, wallet has uh, six uh, place holders for cards um, such as uh, bank or debit, uh, credit cards, and uh, my driver's uh, license. Um, it also has a small clip to hold cash and an elegant gold zipper to make sure that I do not lose any uh, contents while I'm out and about town, okay? This is a nice expression, remember that one, out and about town. Out and about town means you're kind of outdoors, you're going here and there, uh, maybe the swimming pool, your job, your school. Um, so you're out and about, out and about, out and about, okay? I hope you're repeating me, by the way. I hope I'm not just uh, kind of saying all of this without repetition. Uh, members, uh, keep uh, writing. So I am checking the chat for your sentences. So move along. Remember, you. Ha I'm, I mean, of course, you're listening to me, but we're going to go over this again. So whatever comes to mind here, um, just write it down. Okay, write it down. Yeah, Ken, you can. So Ken is asking, can I say, I feel naked without it? Absolutely, you can say that, Ken. It's a nice expression, and I'll be honest with you, I feel naked without my wallet. So with without certain items, like the mobile phone, um, we kind of feel naked. We're like, ah, okay. So yes, you can, you can, that's a, Ken, that would be a great expression to use uh, for this cue card topic, all right? Okay, um, so uh, moving along nicely, right? Um, now, um, why is it important to me? So what is its utility, its function, okay? So of course, it is critical that I take my wallet um, anytime that I leave home so that I can function in society and avoid problematic situations, okay? Because without a wallet, we could surely get stuck in some awkward situations, right? I don't know about you, but in my life, it's happened once or twice where I forgot my wallet and I'm standing at the cashier <laughs> And I'm going, uh, I'm sorry, could you just put all my items to the side? I forgot my wallet. And that's where, of course, you've got people standing in line. Of course, it's going to be the busiest day of the week. And there's like 20 people behind you. And they're like, oh, this guy. <laughs> so I don't know if that's happened to you. But in all honesty, it has happened to me. Not a lot. Maybe two, three times during my years that I can remember. Perhaps my brain has forgotten about other times. All right, um, so of course it's critical that I take my wallet anytime that I leave home so that I can function in society and avoid problematic situations. Since um, I store my money in my card or in my wallet, I need to have it with me uh, so that I can make uh, purchases uh, uh, when um, I'm at a store. Now here, when you're thinking about like this kind of sentence, so you're at a store, you can make purchases, right? Um, think about quantification. Remember students, I'm always telling you numbers, right? Um, in fact, I would say that I use my wallet at least a dozen uh, times a week uh, to buy groceries, gifts, office supplies, uh, gas for my car, 
uh, to name a few. Okay, instead of saying etc. and so on, uh, to name a few, um, I don't recommend really using these kinds of expressions lots. It's just better to say what you're doing. But in this case, it's natural. Okay, so in fact, I would say that I use my wallet at least a dozen times a week to buy groceries, gifts, office supplies, gas for my car, uh, to name a few. Okay, furthermore, I use it to uh, show my identification. Uh, while uh, buying wine or uh, when I go to a government office or in case I am uh, stopped uh, by authorities. Okay, so lots of content, right? Because that's all to do with your wallet. Okay. Maria says, it happened to me. I know the feeling. Yeah, Maria, I don't think it's just you and me. I think if somebody says it's never happened to them, they're, they've maybe forgotten. <laughs> I don't want to say they're a liar, but they maybe have forgotten, okay? Um, Cass says, whenever I take out my Gucci wallet in public, I feel anxious and careful having it, okay? Um, I can say that I uh, feel happy and... Uh, proud whenever I take my wallet out of my pocket uh, since it reminds me of my wonderful time in Italy and it is a bit of a status symbol. Okay. All right. Um, and then let's finish with the topic sentence. So I always uh, make sure to have it as I'm going out the door. Otherwise, I feel naked without it. There you go, Ken. See, you can put that in there, right? So I always make sure to have it as I'm going out the door. Otherwise, I feel naked without it. Okay, and that's about it. So that's about all the time we have here. Um, now, students, repeat after me. So I'm going to uh, say this one more time, okay? So speak and repeat. I'm going to go sentence by sentence, all right? So here we go. Let's look back at the card. Okay, talk about an item you often have with you when you leave home. What is it? When and where did you get it? What do you use it for? Why do you take it with you? And how do you feel when you leave it at home? Okay, that how do you feel when you leave it at home? I haven't really answered that, so I have to be careful. This is why it's really important to check that card. Um, I mean, I've said I feel naked without it. Um, and I did say that I can get into some problematic situations, right? So uh, if I leave home uh, without it, I feel uh, frustrated and vulnerable. As I'm unable to uh, pay or to prove my identity. Okay, there we go. We finished that. Okay, um, here we go. So from the top, everybody, uh, copy uh, what I say, okay? An object that I'm sure to have with me whenever I leave my home is my Gucci wallet. This is an elegant black leather wallet, rectangular shaped. It is compact so it fits into my pockets easily and I do not feel any discomfort while walking or sitting. I got my wallet while on a trip to Florence, Italy back in 2017 from an authentic retailer for a whopping 200 euros. 
I just fell in love with it when I saw it. And even though it was a bit expensive, I decided to splurge and buy it as a souvenir. This lovely bifold wallet has six placeholders for cards, such as debit, credit cards, and my driver's license. It also has a small clip to hold cash, an elegant gold zipper to make sure that I do not lose any contents while I'm out and about town. Of course, it is critical that I take my wallet anytime I leave home so that I can function in society and avoid problematic situations. Since I store my money in my wallet, I need to have it with me so that I can make purchases when I'm at a store. In fact, I would say that I use my wallet at least a dozen times a week to buy groceries, gifts, office supplies, gas for my car, to name a few. Furthermore, I use it to show my identification while buying wine or when I go to the government office or in case I'm stopped by authorities. I can say that I feel happy and proud whenever I take my wallet out of my pocket since it reminds me of my wonderful time in Italy and it's a bit of a status symbol. So I always make sure to have it as I'm going out the door, otherwise I feel naked without it. If I leave home without it, I feel frustrated and vulnerable as I'm unable to pay or to prove my identity. Adrian, your time is up. I will stop you there and now I will ask you a question related to your response and connected to this topic. And off to the races you go. All right, students, I'm hoping that we have time for a couple of members to try this part two, okay? Um, so we are going to do some volunteer speaking using our website and I think members, you know now what to do. I don't see any brand new members in the chat, but if you don't know what to do, just send me a message in the chat and I'll help you out, okay? If you know what to do, then go to the website, gltshelp.com or aehelp.com log in to your my student account there it is boom and then in your my student account if you've got the tour thing going on and the tour and go to uh your student partner speaking wow look at the size of the button it's probably how it looks on mobile like that tiny adrian giant button uh click on student speaking and then accept the terms and you will be in here um, and we've got Lynette, Amina, Bina, Javakir, Mohammed, Tatiana, Maria, there you are. Um, okay, we've got lots of people. So uh, we need some volunteers. I'm specifically looking for members to volunteer here. And so far I see Tatiana volunteering. Ken, I would love to see you volunteer as well. Okay, Amrit is in here as well. So um, members, uh, you can do the same. So you can um, talk about your wallet, okay? Or if you want, you can talk about one of those other great uh, ideas that we came up with, like your eco-friendly bag, your debit card. Okay, there's lots there. Um, okay, Ken, let's see if we can, let's see if Ken would like to try this one, let me, Okay, Ken says, can I? Sure, are you ready? Okay, Ken, let's see if you are there. We can get a hold of you and then you can give this a go. I haven't heard your voice in a while, so it'd be great. All right, Ken, give me a sign that you are there. Let's give it a shot. All right, Ken, here we go. Hello, sir, Adrian. <laughs> Hi, Ken. How are you? I'm always working this way. <laughs> I don't right. have a lot of time. Like, go. Cool. Nice. Okay, well, we'll cut right to the chase then, Ken. Let's jump to this question. So, um, okay, I'm going to start you off basically by uh, just kind of the same way as the uh, examiner would do in the real exam, okay? And then, um, and then whenever you're ready, you can start. So uh, here we go. Um, all right, so talk about an item you often have with you when you leave home. 
your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking. Okay, the item that I cannot leave at home without is my wallet, as I feel naked without it. So this wallet is made by Adrian Kliss. It's genuine leather, uh, originally made from Alberta, Canada. Uh, it's rectangular, brown in color. Has a lot of pockets um, for keeping my paper bills and it is perfect for all my ID cards, debit and credit cards. My wallet is uh, extremely important for me and I should have it all the time since I work as a truck driver, professional truck driver, and my license is a must for me. So <laughs> I cannot drive around the big truck without my license. And all my uh, banking cards for purchasing anything like groceries and foods are on it too. So it's how important it is. So that's it. I'm still nervous. Well, okay, uh, I will stop you there. And uh, now we'll go on to part three. I will ask you a question related to your response. All right, uh, it's, it's, it, that was pretty good. Ken, that was pretty good. Uh, you don't have to tell me that you're nervous. That's yeah, totally I know. okay. Um, so don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I know you <laughs> no, want to no, tell yeah, me that, but don't tell me that. Um, okay, yeah, don't, don't, yeah. And it, students do actually do that in the real IELTS even. They'll say, I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm sorry, I can't talk anymore. Um, but, don't, but don't say that. Do you know what yep, you yep. should, you know what you should do instead? Yep. What should you do? So instead of like, when you feel that nervousness and you're like, oh, I'm stuck. Breathe. This is the <laughs> what, breathe, breathing, yeah, breathe, definitely. Breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, yeah breathe, yeah, absolutely breathe. Um, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. And then once you've taken a nice deep breath, what should you do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. That's a good answer. <laughs> I, you know, I think sometimes people stop. are scared to say, <laughs> no, don't stop. Uh, I think, oh, I think you know, sometimes people are scared to say, I don't know, but it's a good answer. Um, look, look at the card. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 So Thanks. look at the card and your notes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you look at the card here, Ken, what do you notice? Um, so uh, you gonna... will see if uh, you answered mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. questions. Okay. So. so if we look at this card right now, and I just brought us back to the card here, you'll see it in, in a second. Um, have you answered all the questions? Um, what do you use it for? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I will disagree with you. Um, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so um, I, I don't think you really answered that very, very last one. The how do you feel when you leave it at home? Mm. So that question, I, I do believe you actually missed. You didn't. Yeah, I put it in front. Actually, I felt naked when I. Yeah, but that's not really enough. Like that's that's an expression, right? Like that you feel naked when you leave it at home, but it's not it doesn't truly answer that question. Like you want to give a more clear or clearer answer for that. And yep. you know, you 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 gave me a really great piece of information. You said that you're a truck driver, so having your yep. wallet with you and your driver's license is a must. Otherwise, you you could lose your job, right? Yeah, and, that's true. And yep. and that's what you could have said at the end. So oh, if, yeah. I, if, if I were, and this is where, you know, you start to show some really nice vocabulary as well. So um, just to kind of reflect on what you said, I think that, you know, your answer would be like a solid band seven. It'd be, mm -hmm. I, I would give you a seven uh, yep. for sure, because I think you have some good fluency. There are some slight grammar oddities, um, mm -hmm. but they're just very small mistakes with uh, prepositions or word form is a little bit off here and there but you're using a lot of really nice natural english as well mm -hmm. like you said and my driver's license is a must that's a very nice mm -hmm. um natural kind of form of english that you're using there yeah. so um so i think your fluency is uh, like a band eight i think your yeah. grammatical accuracy yeah. is a band six your range is a band seven i think your yeah. lexical resource is an easy band seven um, your pronunciation is a band eight. Uh, it's very, yep. it's very clear for me. Okay. Um, and I think here you, the coherence, you would have lost a mark because you didn't answer all, all of the questions. So the, mm -hmm. the examiner would yeah. say that, well, that last question wasn't quite 
answered, especially if you kind of stop suddenly like that, right? So yeah. um, this is where you can really kind of shine and you can say something like, if I were to leave my wallet at home, yep. I would put myself in danger of losing my job. Yeah, uh, yeah. Since there are checkpoints for truck drivers where they must, or instead of generalizing, keep it to yourself, where I must uh, prove my identification uh, by yeah. showing uh, my license. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this kind of conditional sentence with this grammar, of course, really would boost um, that score for part two. Uh, let me yeah. just um, read this sentence and then copy it after me, okay? Yeah. So here we go. If I were to leave my wallet at home, I would put myself in danger of losing my job since there are checkpoints for truck drivers where I must prove my identification by showing my license. So I'm going to repeat it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I were to leave my wallet at home, I would put myself in danger of losing my job since uh, there are checkpoints for truck drivers where I must prove my identification by showing my license. So, yeah. Very nice. And then you answer that last question, okay? So yep. very importantly, Ken, it's okay to be nervous. Just don't forget <laughs> strategy, right? So yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of like um, professional athletes when they're in a big competition, like um, figure skating, for example, in the Olympics. I'm sure they're super nervous, but in their mind, yeah. they keep thinking strategy, 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 right? So you have to just keep that in your head. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, I wrote it down, but I forgot when I yeah, <laughs> forgot to look at it. Happens yeah. all the time. Okay. okay, Ken, uh, thank you so much uh, for volunteering. I hope you do it again. Yeah. That was really good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try again whenever I can. <laughs> Please, awesome. thanks. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, Ken, have a lovely rest of your weekend. Yeah, you too. You too. Thank Let's you. Get it warm. Yeah, bye, bye, Ken. <laughs> All right, that was uh, a very refreshing response from um, Ken. Uh, Selena, thanks for the uh, thumbs up. Um, and uh, students, unfortunately, that's kind of all the time I have right now because I have to get ready for the next class, which is speaking part three. That's coming up soon. But um, this is a perfect example of why we have decided to have 90 minute classes starting next week. So when we do our next speaking part two, which will be next week, then we will have another 30 minutes for at least two, three more volunteers and more questions, right? So do you see why uh, we're doing that now, everybody? So um, again, from next week, these will be 90 minute classes which will give um, more people chances to actually get into their unique uh, responses, okay? So that's kind of the, the fun part of it. But don't go too far, everyone, because you still will have lots of chances to speak today. Uh, we've got speaking part three coming up, okay? And that will be uh, questions connected to this topic of part two. So. Take a short break, stretch your legs, uh, have a cup of tea, maybe with that uh, flask or that thermos that you have at uh, home there, Tatiana, and then uh, come back um, to join me for part three. Until then, you can also check out our website, aehelp.com for academic outs, gltshelp.com for general outs, create an account so that you can join the speaking. I've got tons of people pinging me to speak right now. Um, and again, uh, use the code PERFECT9 uh, for that 20% discount on the website, okay? So I will be back soon uh, after a short break. Bye for now, everybody. See you in 30 minutes.